Welcome to Real Channel Automotive, a place to help you understand the world of automotive mobility. Please subscribe our channel for more updates. Tweaking a successful vehicle is always a risk in the automotive industry, and there's no doubt that the Honda Accord is a success. In the dwindling midsize sedan segment, it finished second to the Toyota Camry in 2021 and made the top 20 best-selling vehicles list. Now there's a new generation in the mix, vying for buyers' attention with sophisticated styling, more tech, and a better hybrid powertrain. The 2023 Accord looks more conservative than its predecessor, with a more traditional black mesh grille flanked by LED headlights. They're joined by a more curved front bumper with a wide intake that emphasizes the car's width. We can see a longer hood and streamlined bodywork with a relatively subtle character line as we move down the sides. While the greenhouse appears to be mostly the same, designers updated the third-quarter glass area to look more traditional. Speaking of cleaner design, the taillights have been replaced by slimmer LED units that extend toward the center of the car, a significant departure from its predecessor. There's also a large trunk with an integrated rear spoiler. Full details will be revealed closer to the model's release, but it will come standard with body-colored door mirrors and 17-inch alloy wheels. Black mirrors, a black rear spoiler, and black 19-inch alloy wheels distinguish sport trims, while the Sport L adds a unique black diffuser. The Touring has black accents and black 19-inch wheels as well, but they're joined by silver flourishes for a sharp, high-contrast look. The 2023 Accord is 195.7 inches long, 73.3 inches wide, and 57.1 inches tall, with a wheelbase of 111.4 inches. That makes the new model 2.7 inches longer than its predecessor. Inside, there's more Civic influence, most notably the metal mesh pattern that spans the dash. On higher spec trims, you'll find a 12.3-inch center touchscreen, Honda's largest ever. All Accords come standard with a 7-inch screen and a 10.2-inch digital driver display. The most recent Honda Sensing Driver Assist and Safety Systems are standard, as are newly designed front seat airbags. For the first time, the Accord includes standard knee and rear passenger side airbags. In terms of technology, the 2023 Accord can receive over-the-air updates for nearly all of its computer systems. Google Built-in, which includes a variety of Google apps that can be voice controlled with Google Assistant, is new for the top-tier Accord Touring. Aside from the screens, the 2023 Accord has an evolutionary dashboard with a stylish metal mesh pattern that hides air vents. Customers will also notice piano black trim, updated switch gear, and new body-stabilizing front seats, which promise to reduce fatigue on longer drives. Customers will also find premium materials at key touchpoints, as well as 40.8 inches of rear seat legroom, which is 0.4 inch more than before. In terms of cargo space, the Accord promises to have the most in its class, with the trunk still holding 16.7 cubic feet of luggage. While the Accord LX is basic, the EX adds an 8-way power driver's seat, heated front seats, a dual-zone climate control system, and a moonroof. The Accord Sport is distinguished by its black upholstery, aluminum pedals, and leather-wrapped steering wheel. Buyers seeking more luxury can select the EXL or Sport L, which include leather and a four-way power front passenger seat. The touring trim level goes even further, with heated and ventilated leather front seats as well as heated rear seats. A head-up display, a wireless smartphone charger, and a 12-speaker Bose audio system are also included. The 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine in the Accord LX and EX features updated VTEC variable valve lift technology, an upgraded direct injection system, a new cold-active catalyst, a high-rigidity crankshaft, and a revised oil pan to reduce engine noise. Despite the modifications, the engine still produces 192 horsepower and 192 pound-feet of torque. The engine is mated to a new continuously variable transmission, which promises to be quieter and more efficient. In terms of the latter, step-shift programming that simulates gear changes at full throttle is available. That brings us to the bad news. The turbocharged 2-liter four-cylinder engine has been discontinued. It produced 252 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque and will be sadly missed. As a result, customers seeking increased performance must select the Sport, Sport L, EXL, or Touring trims, which are equipped with a fourth-generation two-motor hybrid system. It features an all-new 2-liter Atkinson Cycle four-cylinder engine and two new side-by-side -side electric motors. 
This configuration permitted the use of a larger propulsion motor with a torque output of 247 pound-feet. While more torque is desirable, the horsepower rating is reduced from 212 to 204 horsepower. Although this is disappointing, Honda claims that the hybrid powertrain is more responsive and refined at highway speeds. Pricing will be revealed closer to the new Accord's on sale date. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.